make sense for me to start the 2017 vlog by sitting at a bus stop in Vancouver by myself at 5.40 in the morning. I can barely speak, I'm tired, but, but the glory is that I am on my way to Whistler to go skiing by myself for two days and I could not be more excited to start 2017 this way. If you didn't know, I am an avid skier. I love skiing. I, oh, it's a bus coming. No, nope, not for me. I'm a big fan of skiing. I was skiing at Sun Peaks the other day, which is Canada's second largest ski resort. But now I'm having two days of just like me time, like skiing. Whistler is the largest resort in North America. It should be dope. Also, slight commentary for like one brief moment. I think 2017 we need to see a revolution in content on YouTube because I am bored. I am tired, I am sick, and I am bored. I barely slept last night because I was so nervous about missing this freaking bus. I'm taking the snow bus from this random bus stop in Vancouver um, up to the mountain. I'll get there at about 8.20 and then I'm literally gonna ski all day. I have an Airbnb. Um, tomorrow, Queen and Chantal are coming up. I'm waiting for this bus. This bus better come because Mama's ready to get on the slopes. Okay. Brief, brief, brief recap of New Year's Eve. We had a great time. We went out in Vancouver and it snowed a ton. We were drinking from 5 p.m. until 1 in the morning. So it was a long day, but we had a great time. I love, you know, I love Vancouver. So it was like a really blessed Eve being out here um, with Chantal and Kareen Kareen. I um, also got this hat in Switzerland when I was there for my 22nd. Vlog coming soon. Adventure film coming soon. This is a raw vlog. It is an absolutely fantastic day. It's probably minus 20, a little bit windy, but the weather, oh my god! Look at this, this is amazing. Um, again, first time ever skiing in the winter here. I am beyond ecstatic right now. See, that's black come over there. I'm on Whistler now. I'm trying to get over there, but the peak to peak is not open yet. When peak to peak opens, we're going to the sun. Holding on. Everything I had left you away. You better call back you with the good So I'm actually not staying in Whistler Village itself. I'm staying in Creekside, which is a little bit further down, maybe two miles or so from the actual village, but it's still in the Whistler complex. Creekside was the original Whistler Village before Whistler Village was Whistler Village, and this is where the whole thing started way back when. I went to the store, I bought some chicken, I brought some broccolini, I bought breakfast and lunch for tomorrow, and I bought myself some beer and some wine, and I am just chilling, making some chicken, watching. I have a Beyonce stream on on YouTube. Um, January 2nd, y'all, what is up? We're in Whistler, Canada. We had an amazing day skiing, but let's talk about filming and skiing. Skiing and vlogging is very difficult for me because of one main reason. This thing has never worked for me. This is the worst piece of technology that I own. It was hard to ski and vlog because also today at the top it's minus 20, minus 22 with 30 mile an hour sustained winds gust over 50. They only opened a quarter of Whistler Blackcomb today because of the wind chill and because of the wind. So I kind of stuck in one area all day. It was phenomenal. I also got an excellent tweet today. Let me read it for you guys. It's, it's phenomenal. When are you gonna get a relationship? And if you don't mind me asking, what happened? You used to be on YouTube more. Excellent question, sir. You'll see next week when I upload my 2016 recap video. I've been busy. Anyways, I'm alive and well doing Whistler right now. You know, I, I don't know if you'd actually know this or not. All my friends at home know this. Vancouver is one of my favorite places in the world, and Whistler is right up there with that because of Whistler's proximity to Vancouver. That's why I love it. And this is my first time ever skiing at Whistler. I hope you enjoyed the footage. I am going to try and make that GoPro work again tonight, but you guys, literally no, no guarantees. I... When I ate my lunch, I sat for 10 minutes trying to turn the GoPro on, and I'm 100% positive it was charged. 100%. You know, the color is fine. I love the shape, though. Great shape. My biggest problem with study abroad and with Italy was that all I ate was carbs, and so this is an incredibly welcome sight to me. Like, I am alive. Good morning. 
It's Whistler day two. I'm getting my stuff ready to go. I had my yogurt parfait. I also made some oatmeal. And the GoPro is on, but I can't shut it off, so we'll see how long it lasts. Unfortunately, it's supposed to be as cold today again as it was yesterday, which means that they might not get Black Home open. I really want Black Home open. Okay, lesson. I am down here in Whistler Creekside. This is the main village over here. Whistler Mountain, Black Home Mountain. Yesterday, only this was open. None of this, none of none of this. I really want to get over here. This seems really sweet. We have the whole apparatus on, helmet, goggles, two neck things, um, all my layers, my pants, boots, and we are good to go. I'm gonna try and do some early morning GoPro stuff before the GoPro dies. Wish me luck. I, I really hope the next thing you see in this vlog is some GoPro footage because I'm itching for it. Okay, so I'm on my way up the gondola. Tried to turn the GoPro on and it stopped working. If any of you know anyone at GoPro who would like to help me out, I mean, again, this is the, now the third day in my life that I've been at Whistler, and it's been stunning. Hello. Look at this. Stunning. And this doesn't work. Oh well, though, um, it just makes it hard to document skiing. Skiing is a hard sport to document. And especially if something gets so cold, this camera I'm holding right now is going to freeze and run out of battery very soon here. So... Anyways, first gondola up. I think my plan for today is I'm gonna go up to the top and then ski down to Whistler Village, then walk to Blackholm and go try that out. Yeah, because Peak to Peak, which is a gondola that connects the two mountains, is not open yet. They didn't open it at all yesterday because of the wind. I hope they open it today. It's like, look at this. 